Hey guys! I know it's been so long since I've had another video up, like two weeks, maybe more. I am so sorry. Um, unfortunately, life just sort of happens. You blink and it's like, where did the month go? What even happened? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> um, so I do apologize. I thank you for sticking with me. I have, uh, I'm actually filming two videos back to back, so this one is going to be up before the other one. Uh, the first one that I'm filming is my empties. Uh, so as you can see, the box is pretty much full. So we're going to try and run through this kind of fast so I'm not rambling forever because sometimes I can do that. Uh, first thing, I'm going to get some of the boring stuff out of the way, so bear with me. Um, just a package of Huggies baby wipes. I use these for swatches, sometimes to remove masks. They're okay. Nothing special, but not terrible either. I think I got these on sale for a dollar. So I have another one that I'm using. Mm, no comment. I do have one candle. Yeah, one candle. This is from Bath & Body Works. It's Cider Lane. So that's what it looks like. This has been discontinued, so I do apologize. This is fantastic. Uh, the description says, as sweet as the trip to the local apple orchard each year, a delicious fall blend of mulled cider, warm caramel, and sweet cinnamon. Um, to me, this just smells like the best caramel apple you'll ever know. Um, it's incredible. And I think that people were saying that warm caramel cider uh, was a repackaged cider lane. I cannot confirm that, but if you can get your hands on something that's like caramel apple-y, yes. Um, this is like fall in a jar, and I wish that I had more of them. The next thing I have here is some body wash. Uh, this is from Bath & Body Works too. It's the Wild Honeysuckle um, Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel. This took forever to use up. Um, I track my empties on Instagram. I have my own um, hashtag so I can see how often I use things up, basically. Um, I don't know. It's just a weird habit that I have. And it took me like, I don't know, like six months to use this up. It was crazy. And it's not like I don't wash my body every time I get in the shower. So that's nice. I like that these last a while. The smell is fantastic. It really does smell like honeysuckle. So for me, it's very nostalgic. Um, it reminds me of my grandmother's house and um, I don't know. I would recommend this. I don't know if um, this is like a, a scent that they have all the time, but uh, if you can find it, definitely give it a whiff. It smells really good. I have one other body wash that I have here. Uh, it's the Dove Go Fresh. Uh, mandarin and tiara flower. I'm um, just a little sample guy. This was nice. It was creamy. It lathered well. Um, no complaints. I would definitely recommend this one too. We have some hair care. Um, if you've seen my other empties, I have been trying to use up all of the little deluxe sample bottles that I have. So I've got the Schwarzkopf Essence Ultime Omega Repair and Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. These were fine, nothing extra special. They did have a very fragranced, it was a very perfumey smell. It made me think of one of those Taylor Swift Wonderstruck perfumes, but I can't put my finger on which one it reminds me of. Um, but the scent doesn't really linger. Um, I didn't notice it by, you know, midday. So, um, meh. I probably wouldn't purchase it. And if you saw my other empties, I did empty something similar here. This is Herbalosophy. And before I had the Balance Shampoo and the Balance Conditioner, but this time I have the Nourish Mask. Uh, now I will say that the Nourish Mask is not as deeply hydrating as I would expect from a hair mask. So I did just use this like a regular conditioner, um, but I really do like this line. The shampoo is fantastic. It's sulfate free, but it lathers really, really well. Um, and it has a really nice herbally smell. Um, again, it doesn't really linger on your hair after you get out of the shower, but it's very invigorating scent. So 
While I wouldn't necessarily recommend the mask um, because it's not as deeply hydrating, I do love the shampoo and the conditioner from this line. I have one sheet mask? No, I have two sheet masks. This one is the Baroness Snail Mask Sheet. Um, and then I have the Baroness Red Ginseng Mask Sheet. Both of these were pretty good. I got both of them from Forever 21. They were $1.90 each. Um, I think that they're really enjoyable. The fit on these is a little bit weird, but that might vary depending on the shape of your face and your facial features. Uh, so don't don't not try it because I say that. I mean, if you don't if you have a different face shape than mine, of course it's going to fit differently. Um, but both of these had a mild scent. They moisturized very well. But I will say for the Baroness, I think that I'm going to. I would definitely repurchase these, but I think I would recommend to use these at night uh, because they do, for me, leave my skin very shiny. Um, not oily, but very shiny if I use them in the morning. I, I'm a morning showerer, so I like to use masks after I get out of the shower when my skin is nice and clean and the, my pores are open and everything. So I would recommend these at night if you're more combo oily. That way, you know, you have all of overnight for the rest of the serum to sink into the skin. I got, here's another boring one, um, nail polish remover. This is from Ulta. No complaints. Uh, it removes regular nail polish, glitter nail polish very easily, so I would recommend this. I have the Laura Geller. Balance and Brighten Powder Foundation in the shade Fair. There is a little bit left on the edge, but it's impossible for me to get with my brush, so I just gave up. Um, but this is nice. Um, it doesn't mattify the skin. I mean, it mattifies as well as a powder can, but it has like a more satiny finish to it. It has nice coverage. Um, it's kind of light for a powder foundation, but Nah, it's good. Um, if you've watched my other empties, you'll know that I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my little sample size things. So a lot of this is all like little baby sizes. Um, so I've got the Dr. Jart Derma Clear Micro Water. This is a micellar water basically. I did enjoy this. I did find that it left a film on my skin where I would need to like wet a washcloth and just wipe my face off and then go on with the rest of my skincare. Um, so I'm not going to seek this one out, it's over $30 for the full size, but I did get a full size of the Marcel from Birchbox using my Birchbox points. So if you haven't tried a micellar water, I would recommend trying one, um, but mm, this one I I'm not going to seek out, I don't think. I have a little lotion here. This is Nivea Express Hydration. I did not care for this. I don't typically use lotion because my skin doesn't really need it. Um, but this had a weird smell. It was just sticky and no. A um, couple moisturizers. This is Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm. This is just a little third of an ounce container. I really loved this. Um, it's very light. It's kind of like a light blue, um, like gel cream kind of formula. It smells very fresh and lemony. Um, it hydrates the skin without making it feel greasy or oily, which is perfect for me. Um, I just wish that it was packaged differently. I hate when things are packaged in little pots. Um, it's not sanitary and the ingredients get compromised. Um, I've been very into reading through Paula's Choice Beautypedia, all of the different beauty reviews that they have, and that's the one thing that's holding me back from purchasing this. But if you haven't tried it yet, I would totally recommend it. Another moisturizer, and one that I would actually consider purchasing because the packaging is better, um, this is from Air Repair. I had gotten this in a birch box. 
Um, it's the Complexion Boosting Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. This felt fantastic. I used this as a night cream because I felt like it was going to be a little too heavy for me through the day, but it moisturizes really well. It absorbs into the skin really well. Um, I, my face just felt plump and hydrated in the morning. It was just so, so good. And the full size does come in a tube, so I might consider this one when I work through all of my other moisturizers. I have a little sample thing of the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. This is the serum. I got maybe two or three uses out of this. Not enough to say whether it was good or not, but I probably wouldn't purchase it just because of the price. Got a sample packet of the Ulla Henriksen Empower Featherweight Moisturizer. This is another one that felt really nice, but I didn't like the fragrance of this. Next we have the number 7 Protect and Perfect Advanced Serum. This was okay. It's very silicone-y. Uh, the first ingredient is dimethicone, so when you apply it, it does feel very velvety on the skin, but I didn't notice anything special with it, so I probably wouldn't seek it out. Then the Corez Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. I think I got maybe three or four uses out of this little guy. Um, this was a sample from Sephora. This is okay. Um, it foams up nicely. It cleansed my skin very well without stripping it. But for the price, I have other things from the drugstore that I prefer and I would rather spend my money on there. Um, Pore Strip from Botanical Choice. This is um, the Pure Derm brand, but it's um, they sell these at Forever 21. And I can't remember, again, whether it was the green tea or the charcoal. They're both okay. They're not, um, I don't think that they're quite as good as the name brand. They don't pull everything out, but they do the job. And it, they're less than $4 for a pack, so they're alright. Another cleanser, uh, Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. I didn't care for this because of the scent. It has a lot of essential oils, which can be irritating to the skin, so this is not something that I would actually purchase. I have the Juara Radiance Enzyme Scrub. This was okay. It felt like I was washing my face with cream of wheat, if you can imagine that. Like, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. And again, for the price, I would rather get something from the drugstore than spend over $20 for the full size of this. Next, I have an eye cream. This is from Kiehl's. It's the Midnight Recovery Eye. Anything that I really like, I cut open and I scrape into a little pot and I use every little drop of it. This is pretty good, um, I will say. Um, it hydrates my under eyes. I've never experienced any burning or stinging. Um, it doesn't irritate my eyes at all. Um, this is one that I would consider purchasing, but I will be doing more research on eye creams on Beautypedia. Another moisturizer. Uh, this is Hydropeptide Facelift Advanced Ultra Light Moisturizer Anti-Wrinkle. I ended up getting about four uses out of this little guy. Uh, over a serum, this felt really nice, but I found that without a serum, it kind of burned my skin, and I noticed every time that I used this, the fragrance was like very strong of black pepper, and I don't know what that's about, but the full size is really expensive, so either way, I would not be spending the money on this, but it was nice to try. I've got another cleanser here. <laughs> it's the Olay Fresh Effects Shine Shine Go Away Shine Minimizing Cleanser. I'll say that if you have skin that is not oily, you're not going to like this. Um, for anyone that doesn't have oily skin, this might be a little stripping or drying. I didn't notice too much of a problem with this, um, but I think that this product has been discontinued. So even if I wanted to purchase it, 
I don't think I can, at least not for the regular retail price. Oh my god, I, we're almost done. <laughs> I have another serum. This is from Strivectin AR. It's the Advanced Retinol Night Treatment. This was pretty good. Um, it was like a creamy, like yellowy consistency. I felt like it actually provided a lot of hydration and it helped with the fine lines that I have on my face. I don't really have wrinkles, but I'm trying to combat like the expression lines on my forehead. Um, and I felt like it really helped with that. Um, but this was only a quarter of an ounce, so I didn't get to use it for very long. But if you're looking for retinol, this might be a good one to try out. I didn't notice any irritation to my skin. Because sometimes with retinol, it can cause irritation or redness to your skin. And I never experienced that with this product. And... Last but not least, I have just these little samples of hair care. This is the L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care Smooth Intense Ultimate Straight. So it's the shampoo, the pre-conditioner, and then the conditioner. So overall, I don't think this was anything special. It was interesting because you would shampoo your hair, rinse it out, apply the pre-conditioner, leave the pre-conditioner in for a minute, and then apply the conditioner on top of that without rinsing out the pre-conditioner and then you let it sit and then rinse both of the products out but I didn't notice anything different than any other shampoo or conditioner that I've used so for that I, mm, but I do like the L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care line as a whole so it was okay um, so that was all of my empties. We are at the end of the box again, so I can finally recycle and throw away all of that stuff. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. If you're watching this still, give the video a like. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, guys.